And with that, we go directly from one impressive researcher to another impressive person. Uh, who creating tangible solutions to address the financial literacy challenges into countries like Tanzania and Colombia. The stage is yours, Maria. Welcome. Yes, so welcome everybody. I am Maria Andrea Prieto from Colombia. I did a master in international development and I have been working in Fundacion Capital. So just one step before, like in what is happening in Sweden, I want to come back to the developing countries because we have huge challenges in terms of, of the first step that is having financial education. So I, I have been working in Fundacion Capital is a nonprofit social enterprise that has been working for more than 11 years uh, to promote economic citizenship. And in this, we implement a human-centered design approach and a data science approach to improve the financial uh, lives of people living in vulnerability around the world. As you may know, like we have, uh, we are working and focused like in, in terms of the, in, around poverty and we have other challenges that we need to tackle in order to create financial inclusion. So we have been working and reaching uh, with different organizations. We have, we have like six international awards and we have been working across like Latin America, Africa and Asia. So just to give you like a, a, an, an overview, we have reached uh, around 7 million people around the world. And um, also, just to, to, to put you in, like in, in terms of the context, we work with the poverty and stem, uh, po extreme poverty of the population. We have developed like different like um, applications, but today I am going to talk about LISTA that is focused in financial education. So like the main problem that we want to reach, as you may know, we, 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 are tackle, we tackle with financial exclusion. So uh, around um, 1.7 billion of people are on banquet. And moreover, we have the huge challenge that 40% of households have like low educational attainment. So this is like a, a really big challenge because it's like they don't have access to technology that they are excluded from digital economy, but they can read or write. So if they can read or write, they are, we have more challenges to go and use the technology. And in terms of our context, because of the geography, the ice infrastructure is challenging to have like access to the e economic world and this like as you were mentioning before like we have few challenges in terms of gender inequality and this it, in the context matters in, if you if I can give you an example the situation in Colombia probably in terms of the context is different to Mozambique the way that the communities relate and understand the access to, to money and to financial education. So that's why we are we develop an application that works offline and we can rotate this application to communities. It's like for low literacy where we can have like relevant data from the communities to teach them how to save and you were sharing here the importance of the goals, reaching goals. So we teach them how to reach like short, long and long-term long goals. So to give you an example, in our context, many people, they don't have any access or um, they, they don't have like any relation with a CAS machine or like mobile applications. So we develop these like for low literacy people and we have like audios in the applications. We have like uh, stories that could engage and motivate um, the people to understand the importance of use, using money. So we, the idea is to create and increase the choices in people because in the context that we work, there is a huge amount of informal economy. So the first step is to change this informal economy to a formal economy. And then this application, what we really want to do is to um, 
increase and improve the capabilities and the abilities from the people so they can access and to the formal um, economy. And also we were like uh, having like the di digital literacy. From now on, we have been reaching over half of million across uh, users across 12 countries. And we really want to increase the financial health and reduce the inequalities. Uh, and we are working to reach the sustainable development goal number 10, that is reduce inequalities. And first, in order to create like access or like the use of financial services, we need to improve the knowledge the attitudes and the skills from the people. And just to give an illustration, this is an example in Mozambique. So it's not only the, pro the, um, the product, like the application, but it's the way that we implement the, 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 app, the app. So we use, because in many contexts, they don't have access to a mobile phone or to tablets. So we rotate the tablets in the communities uh, with community leaders so they can um, share the, um, the application in their communities. So here in, is an example of the illustrations that we use to engage the community so they can feel and yes, feel re represented in these images. And the purpose is to understand the context and to change the mindset that they have around money and so how they can uh, help them to reach and be in a financial included world. But the first step is to reach and yes, like share financial tools and the educational uh, tools to in order to make to to make decision and the next step is or from these communities is to connect them with financial services because one thing is the access and other thing is the use and it's not only accessing but also using just this is an example uh, of the implementation that we do to deliver this solutional this digital solution in rural communities that's from my side and let me know if you have questions or if you want to know more, you can search uh, more about Fundacion Capital and I am also in LinkedIn. My name is Maria Andrea Prieto. Thank you very much for the invitation.